Hello hook loopers, welcome to my crochet channel, I'm Sarah. As anticipated last week, today's Tunisian stitch is again a super lovely relief stitch. Once again I had some problem in finding the name for this stitch, so I decided to just call it Tunisian scallop stitch for its uh, shell-like form, as you can see. This lovely stitch does not need any special multiple of stitches. You can chain, you can begin from a chain in any number of stitches. And again, it is created on a foundation in Tunisian simple stitch. So let's begin. So here I have started from a standard foundation row in Tunisian crochet of 15 stitches, which counts as row number one. Then I have proceeded working uh, three more rows in Tunisian simple stitch. And now I'm going to create our scallop stitch in the fifth row. Remember, if you want to refresh your skills on these Tunisian crochet basics, I will leave links for all of these techniques in, my, in the description uh, at the end of this video, below this video. And I will also leave links on the video itself on the top right hand side corner. So let's begin. So I begin by working into the first four stitches in Tunisian simple stitch with the first loop on the hook already counting as stitch number one. So I'm going to insert the hook from right to left under the next vertical bar, this one, which counts as um, stitch number two. So I insert my hook under the vertical bar, yarn over, pull through and drop a loop. Okay, so that was two. This is stitch number three and four. Okay, now time for our first Tunisian scallop stitch. So I will use, to create the scallop stitch, I will use the Tunisian double crochet and the Tunisian treble crochet. So for the Tunisian double crochet, as you already know from my uh, Tunisian stitches collection, I yarn over, then I will insert the hook one row below but not under the corresponding vertical bar in line with my yarn over, but two stitches before this one. So not here, but here. So I insert the hook right under this vertical bar. Then I proceed creating my double crochet. So I yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through two. And that's my Tunisian double crochet created. Now I'm going to work uh, three Tunisian treble crochets like this. So I yarn over twice. I'm going to work um, two rows below, but again, not in the corresponding vertical bar, corresponding and matching in line with my yarn overs but one stitch before that, so here, two rows below, as I said. So I insert the hook right here, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two, and again, yarn over and pull through two. And that's my Tunisian treble created. Now, I yarn over twice, again for my second treble. This time I'm going to insert the hook under the corresponding vertical bind in line with my yarn overs, but three rows below, so here. So I insert the hook under it, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, 
yarn over and pull through two loops and that's my second treble created. Once again I yarn over twice and I'm going to create my third Tunisian treble inserting the hook under the next vertical bar two rows below so here under this one here. Yarn over and pull through Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and that's my third Tunisian treble crochet created. Now I'm going to work a last um, Tunisian double crochet. So I yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook under the next vertical bar, one row below, so here. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, finally, I will yarn over and pull through uh, the last four, um, sorry, five loops together, corresponding to my uh, Tunisian double crochets and Tunisian treble crochets just created. So one, two, three, four, and five. And that's my uh, stitch created, my scallop stitch completed. Okay, see how lovely it is. Now I am going to work into uh, the next five stitches in Tunisian simple stitch. But you need to pay attention because this time uh, two stitches are hidden under my um, cluster of stitches just created. So you need to pay attention to not skip any stitches. So I have one here, one, two, three, four, and five. And now I'm going to create another scallop stitch just like the one we've just created. So I will show you again. So first stitch is a double crochet. So yarn over and insert the hook one row below, not under the corresponding stitch, but uh, two stitches back. So not under this one, but under this one here. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, and that's my first double crochet created. Now, time for my first Tunisian treble, so yarn over twice, insert the hook two rows below, not under the corresponding vertical bar, but one stitch ahead of it. So here. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Second treble, so yarn over twice, and this is the uh, central one, let's say. So this time we are working under the uh, corresponding uh, vertical bar on the same line as my yarn overs, but three rows below, so here. Yarn over and pull through, tug a little, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops, that's it. Now another treble, so yarn over twice. We are going to work now under the next vertical bar, two rows below, so here. And we are creating our treble. Okay, finally, we are going to uh, create our Tunisian double crochet. So yarn over just once and work one row below under the next 
vertical bar. Let me see this one. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through too. Okay, finally, not to forget my last yarn over and pull through five loops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that's our loop. Finally, we need to complete our forward pass by working into the last four stitches in Tunisian simple stitch again. So one, two, three, and the fourth one is, as always, a neat closing stitch, which means that we create a nice border left just as it is on the right by inserting the hook under the both the front vertical bar of that last stitch and its back bar at the same time. See? Yarn over, pull through and drop a loop on the hook. Now the return pass is the standard one. So we yarn over and pull through one loop only first. Then we yarn over and pull through two loops together like this. And we repeat this, we yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two loops together, repeating the second movement until the end of the row, where we have cast off all stitches from the hook and we are left with just one single loop on the hook. There. And these are our two scallops just created. Now, just like for the Tunisian claw stitch, we will work further rows in Tunisian simple stitch. And once again, what you do, you just very simply pull up one single loop from the top of our cluster of stitches just created and work it in Tunisian simple stitch. And now the rest of the project is up to you, depending on the design you want to um, obtain and where you want, you want to work your scallop stitches, if you want to work them in line or if you want to uh, stagger them, it's up to you. What I wanted to show you today was how to make, how to create this lovely scallop stitches. See? Once again, I think uh, this stitch is not so complicated to remember or to execute. Uh, once again, it needs practice, just like everything in life, I believe. So I hope you liked this stitch. In my opinion, this is one of the loveliest uh, decorative stitches you can create with Tunisian crochet. So stay tuned for further beautiful stitches and see you next time. Bye bye.